Before you hear the rest of the talk, you have some time to look at questions 16 to 20. Now listen and answer questions 16 to 20. Now I'm going to give you a plan of the site, and I'd just like to point out where everything is, so that you can explore everything for yourself. We're currently standing at the entrance, which is marked with the arrow on the map. If you follow the trail up to our left, you will find the information centre. There's a great photo booth there, where you can have your photograph taken with Mount Rushmore in the background, for a fee of only $10. What a great souvenir! In front of us is the refreshment centre, where you can help yourselves to coffee, locally grown tea, and a delicious selection of cold drinks and biscuits. Be sure to stay hydrated, as it can get really hot up here. To our right, not far up the trail, is the gift shop. Here we sell copies of the guidebook, and it's also the perfect place to pick up some small souvenirs for yourself, your family and friends. Now, further up the trail, behind the gift shop, is a big stone building with a workshop. This is where all of our souvenirs are made by hand, which you can purchase in the gift shop, like I said before. Some are even carved from pieces of rock taken from Mount Rushmore itself. If you carry on walking up the trail past the workshop, you'll find our state-of-the-art visitor centre, where you can find maps of the walking trails here at Mount Rushmore. Now for the real treat. After you have walked past the visitor centre, you can follow the trail up to the left, which will take you to our wooden shelter. From here, you will have the best view of Mount Rushmore that there is, an experience not be forgotten. Right, if anyone wants a guided tour, then I'm starting at the information centre. If you'd like to follow me, this way please. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to check your answers.